Okay, now for question number nine from the P1 June 2019 International A-Level um, paper. Here we have a question about trig graphs. So figure three shows a plot of the curve with equation y equals sine theta um, and theta between zero and 360 degrees shown. State the coordinates of the minimum point on the curve with equation y equals four sine theta. Okay. So the minimum point of the curve with the equation y equals 4 sine theta between 0 and 360. Now, basically, um, what we should see from here is that the minimum point of this curve occurs at 270 degrees. Okay, so y equals sine theta. Its minimum point is 270 degrees um, and the minimum value is minus 1. Okay, now y equals 4 sine theta theta is of the form y equals 4 times f of x. So this is a transformation okay, where you multiply the whole function by 4. So it's called a vertical stretch. So all the y values are multiplied by 4 and all the x values remain as they are. So we take the coordinates of the original point and we leave the x coordinates as they are and we multiply the y coordinate by 4. So minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. So 270 and minus 4 would be the coordinates of the minimum point of this curve. So 270 and minus 4. So there's the answer to part A. Okay, pretty simple. It's just a, a question about transformation of graphs. Okay, part B it says on diagram 1, sketch and label the curves y equals 1 plus sine theta and y equals tan theta. So on the same diagram, I've got to sketch 1 plus sine theta and y equals tan theta. Okay, now, 1 plus sine theta is basically of the form uh, sine, the, the original function, plus 1. So basically, this is a translation of one unit, okay, uh, vertically upwards in the, in the y direction. So it's like a translation of vector 0, 1. So all the x values remain the same and all the y values are raised by 1. So for example, this point here, 0, 0, moves to 0, 1. This point 90 and 1 moves to 90 and 2. This point 180, 0 moves to 180 and 1. This point 270 and minus 1 moves to 270 and 0. And this point 360 and 0 moves to 360 and 1. So the curve will look something like, exactly like this, but just moved up by one space. Now I can't, using this digital, digital pen, do it that well, but I'll try. And you have to try and do it the best you can, because I've seen marks taken off students. So I would advise, of course, for you to use a pencil, okay, and try to go through these points with a nice smooth curve, which doesn't look like mountain tops. That's pretty good, I think, so far. Not bad, just at the end. So that is y equals 1 plus sine theta. Okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so try to avoid making shapes of the curves looking like this. This is like a mountain top type of shape. I've seen marks taken off for such type of shapes before. Okay, now the next is y equals tan theta between 0 and 360. Now y equals tan theta. You should know the, the way that these graphs look. Basically, it passes through the origin, 0, 0. And also, there's an asymptote at 90 degrees. Okay, there's an asymptote at 90 degrees. So, at 90 degrees, there's a line that it doesn't touch. And the tan curve repeats every 180 degrees. So, that means 180 degrees after 90, which is 270, there will be another asymptote as well. So, everything repeats in the tan curve every 180 degrees. Whereas in the sine curve, it's every 360 degrees. So we know that the tan curve goes through 0, 0. And it goes at 45 degrees, which is going to be here. It goes through 1. The tan of 45 is 1. Okay. And as it approaches 90, it gets closer and closer and closer to this asymptote without actually reaching it. So this is a bit of a... The way they've given us here, it doesn't really fit so well. But we'll go something like this. So it's going to touch it at one place here, for sure. And then what happens is on the other side, it starts from the going closer to the asymptote. And again, tan of 
this angle, which is 180 more than 45, sorry, no, it's not 180 more than 45. This is 180 more than 45, which is here. This is 225. Okay. And this angle here is 135. Okay. Uh, this is the point where, again, this, this time it's going to have, it's going to equal minus 1. So it's going to go through that point and it's also going to go through 180. So it goes something like this. There's an asymptote down here, so it gets closer to the asymptote, but it goes up through, through this point and through 180. And then again, it goes through this point and 1. So the way they've given us this to sketch is not really that good, to be honest, because I can't really show how it looks too well. But anyway, I know it goes through these, through these two points for sure. So it's like an asymptote. It goes like this. It goes through there. It goes through there. And then it approaches the other asymptote. So it's got this type of shape. What I'll do here is I'm going to try and make it look more curved. Okay, I don't like the scale they've given us here, to be honest, because I know definitely it goes with these two, this point here. So it goes like something like this. Okay, so you can see there's a, a point of intersection here and here. Okay, and there's a point of intersection. No, what am I talking about? Forget that one. There's a point of intersection up here. Messed up my other curve. Okay, uh, and also... It, go, it again goes through here and it goes from uh, 270 um, so that's 225 and 135 plus another 180 it's over there that's going to be 315 315 um, and minus 1 it goes to that point so it's going to go like this until it hits 360 degrees like that Okay, so that's how y equals tan theta looks. Okay, this particular diagram. Let me just redo this part. I didn't do that so well. Okay, you have to try and be careful about this. Try and do it as best as you can. But I don't really like the scale that they gave us, to be honest. Because yeah, I know for sure it goes through these points here. Um, I would have liked this to be a bit stretched out. Well, no problem. There we have y equals tan theta, y equals 1 plus sine theta and uh, we've, we've got the drawings then it says hence find so that means using our diagram find the number of solutions for tan theta equals one plus sine theta that line the region from zero to 2160 okay we can see that between zero and 360 degrees you have one solution here okay and one solution there there are two solutions. Okay, this is going to continue going here. So between 0 and 360 degrees, there are two places where uh, this, this cuts the, the curve y equals 1 plus sine theta. I'm looking where it cuts the one that I've drawn up here. So 1, 2. So that means every 2 pi, okay, every 2 pi, there are two solutions. Yeah? All right. So every 2 pi, there's two solutions. Two solutions. So we've got to see 2,160 degrees. You see, this whole thing will repeat every 2 pi. Okay, I could just take this and just copy it and paste it there. And it will be exactly the same shape. It will repeat the same shape exactly. The number of solutions will also repeat every 2 pi, um, every 360 radians. 360 degrees, sorry, not radians. Every 360 degrees. Okay, every 360 degrees. And so therefore, um, what we can say is, we want to find out how many solutions are there going to be in 2,160 2, degrees. How many solutions are there? So we're going to do 2 times 2,160 over 360. Okay, and that will tell us the number of solutions. Okay, so I start talking about radians there. Anyway, 2 times... 2160 divided by 360 and that gives us 12 solutions so there'll be 12 times that this repeats because there are basically six 360s in 2160 okay I can confirm that 2160 divided by 360 gives us six so that means this pattern repeats six times so there's two solutions in each pattern so that's 12 solutions altogether. 6 times 2 is 12. 
So we can see that there's going to be 12 solutions here. 12 solutions. So you should show the steps that I showed there. Okay, basically 2160 divided by 360 and then you multiply that by uh, 2 because that's the number of times it repeats and that's how many solutions are in each pattern. So that's 12 solutions. Okay, and then it says the number of solutions that lie tan theta equals 1 plus sine theta is the same thing but in the region between 0 and 1, 1980. So this time we do a similar thing. We say 1980 divided by 360. Okay, now if I divide that, if I do 1980 divided by 360, I get 5.5. .5. Okay, now 5.5. .5. So we can now see that there's going to be basically 11 solutions because you're going to have this pattern repeating five times, okay, which will give us uh, 12, uh, 10 solutions. So it's five times two, which is 10 solutions. And then you're going to have basically another half of it repeating. So if you, for example, if I do 360 times five, 360 times five, I'll get 1,800. And then if I add 180 to that, if I add 180 to that, I get 1980. So you can see that there's, it's going to be like up to here, you'll have, have had 10 solutions because there'll be five of these patterns. And then it only goes up to a half of this. And there's one more solution, which is over there. And the other solution will be after 1980. So therefore, we know that there is going to be here. 11 solutions okay which will be what we get if we do uh, basically this times two we get 11 as well but i just wanted to make sure that the the solution is is past the halfway okay if it was before the halfway then you would have to include it in this range as well but it's past it so we can see that there's 11 solutions for this part one and 12 solutions so 11 solutions for part two and 12 solutions for part one i hope that was clear Okay, so we, we draw the graphs, we see where they intersect. We can see that there's two points where they intersect. Every 360 degrees it repeats. In 2160 degrees, there's 12 sets of 360s. So, sorry, there's six sets of 360s. So that means they're going to, uh, as there's two solutions in every 360, two times six gives us 12 solutions. And up to 1980, you've got, you know, five 360s fitting plus a half of that, okay, plus another 180, and up to 180, there's one more solution. So 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So there's 11 solutions for that part there. Okay, I hope that was clear.